Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. I know we are a little bit behind on our September readings, but do not despair. We are here. Witching Friday, by the way. Exciting. All right, let's see what's going on for each one of the zodiac signs. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, I call upon you. I ask you to please step forward and guide us in this reading. See what's going on here with each one of the zodiac signs, what they can expect for this month of September 2023. We're going to begin here with Virgos, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on with you guys, what you can expect for this month. If you guys are interested in any of our services, click the description box below. You'll be able to find all of our links on there. Please do not fall for fake people that are creating pages on Instagram or TikTok pretending to be us. All of our real links are in my YouTube channel. So. Getting that out of the way, if you guys are interested in any of the services, like I said, you'll be able to find all of that on there. All right, here we go, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you guys for this month of September 2023. All right, here we go. So we're starting off here with the energy of the star card. Star card is a very powerful card. This is an indication to me that a lot of you guys are going through some type of awakening some type of understanding or being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel the star card can also indicate being able to overcome the obstacles and being able to see actual physical manifestations and changes that are happening around you virgo so i feel that for a lot of you guys there is a lot of opportunities that are going to be coming for you guys for this month now the next card here is the death card major transformation there is transformation that is either manifesting for you guys already or you currently are going through some type of transformation for some of you guys i'm hearing um some type of move some type of major move this could be a career move this could be moving residency or to a different location but there is definitely transformation that is coming high priestess you guys are getting nothing but major arcanas here so the high priestess with the death card, transformation, be guided with your intuition right now, Virgo. It's going to be very important and very crucial. High priestess also indicates all knowing. So again, there are going to be momentum changes coming to you. I feel for some of you guys, you may have to make some type of decision. As an example, if you are being given an opportunity, perhaps a position that you've always dreamt of or... um getting the apartment you've always wanted or getting the house you've always wanted and you feel like you're being pulled towards two different directions because there may be another opportunity, go for the one you've been hoping for. Do not settle for anything less than that because with the high priestess and the death card, it's a, a bit of fear, a bit of it's scary type of energy. Like, I don't know if I should take that step, but if it's something you've been really working towards, now is the time to take that leap of faith. All right, Virgo? And finally, we have the six of wands. Six of wands is victory. It's getting what you want. Again, if there are offers coming to you, do not settle for anything less than what you deserve or what you've been hoping for. It will definitely come through for you, Virgo. All right, we're going to move on now. Let's see what's going on with Libra. See what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like our videos, definitely like, share, and comment. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of September. You guys were getting close to the happiest season of the year for me, Hallow's Eve. Pretty stoked about it. Do you guys celebrate Halloween? Do you guys, um, do you not? It is amazing. To me, it's the pivotal moment in our lives where we've put in the hard work and the hard determination and we're able to experience all the holidays that follow. <laughs> we are big on celebrating holidays on my side. So pretty stoked about that. All right, let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of September 2023. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Libra. We're starting off here with the two of pentacles. So two of pentacles is indicating to me for some of you guys, there is a need for balance or you're feeling like you're doing or trying to do a balance act. 
So this could be almost to me, it feels like being time restricted. There's something with time uh, or feeling like you don't have enough time to do certain things. Perhaps you're working too much, not being able to spend time with your family or with your kids. There is a balancing act that's happening right now, but I want you to be very, very understanding and patient with yourself, Libra, this month. I don't want you to get overwhelmed, okay? So it's going to be very important for you uh, to try the best you can to prioritize. Prioritize is the word that's coming through very strongly. Um, being able to prioritize and know exactly what is most important to you and going down that line or that uh, list so that you don't get distracted because I feel like time is going to be a bit of a restriction for you. Now, your next card, next card here that you have is the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is confusion, um, uncertainty, or feeling like you're not being able to see clearly for some of you guys. Again, I feel this is the beginning of the month, though, uh, so it should get uh, much more better as we continue the month of September. Now, your next card here is the Four of Wands, some type of celebration that comes through for some of you guys. This is spending more quality time. Uh, with your family or some type of cause of celebration that brings you guys all together. Um, again, if there are uh, something that you must do, as an example, there is a celebration. Um, I'll give you guys an example. I went through it. Some type of celebration, like let's just say it's your sister or brother's birthday, but you also have work to do. Try the best you can to balance it. Try the best you can to uh you know, do what you have to do at a timely manner and then remove yourself and give yourself the space and time to let loose, okay? That's gonna be very important for you guys. So whether it's spending time with your family, whether it's uh, being together in some type of celebration, try the best you can. Again, focus in prioritizing for this month. And your next card is the eight of wands. So I see you guys really picking up. Um, picking up a lot of work, picking up a lot of opportunities that are coming your way. It's going to feel very fast paced, like you don't have time. Again, prioritize is going to be uh, the name of the game for you guys this month, Libra. All right, let's move on here with Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpios. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. What you guys can expect for this month of September, 2023. If you guys enjoy these readings, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to give us those likes. Those likes helps us with the algorithm. All right, Scorpio. Scorpio, let's see what's going on with my Scorpios. I have a lot of clients that are Scorpio. I gravitate very strongly towards Scorpios. And I have a brother too. That is a Scorpio. Okay, we have here the Seven of Cups. Sorry, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles um, indicating to me Having the need for patience right now, Scorpio, is going to be very important for you. I don't want you to get frustrated. If things are not moving as quickly as you would want, it is crucial and important right now to breathe, to give yourself the time to surrender to the process, okay? I feel like the more antsy you get or the more you're trying to push things forward, you're going to meet or you're going to be met with resistance. So try the best you can to be patient right now. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, um, patience is going to be very important. Now, your next card here is the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is uh, some type of offering that comes through for you guys. Could be love in nature. Um, it could be an invitation that comes through for you guys that are single out there. Um, but I feel more so that it is a love invitation or something that is being offered to you, Scorpio, that you've been hoping and wanting again with that seven of pentacles, be patient because whatever it is that you're wishing for, whatever it is that you're wanting to see happen will definitely manifest for you, but you got to be patient. Don't get antsy. <laughs> now, the next card here that we have is the five of swords. So the five of swords is an indication to me of a bit of chattering or I should say inner struggle that's going on in your mind. This is not being able to be patient, uh, wanting to move things forward. And the moment that you're met with resistance, you go in panic mode or you start doubting the process. Five of swords is an indication, again, 
of the struggle that's going on. There's something that you're really, really wanting to make happen. It's not moving as fast as you would want. But again, surrender to the process. The quicker you surrender, the quicker the results you will get. And finally, the judgment card. So the judgment card is um, indicative of being able to see the end result, being able to materialize. Um, this can also indicate for some of you guys the try the best you can, especially with the with the Ace of Cups here and the Five of Swords. Try the best you can to not give so much importance to people's perception of you. And for some of you guys, those of you guys that follow me on Instagram, I just recently did a video about this. Um, it's very easy for everyone to say, I don't care what people think, but deep down, sometimes it does affect us. And when we go about, as an example, you're trying to make something happen or you're working really hard towards achieving that higher position, whatever it is that your goals are, a lot of the times people will come to you and be like, well, you know, it does seem rather irrational or it does seem pretty hard to achieve whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. It starts to get in your head and you psych yourself out. So again, with the judgment card, try the best you can to not think, not take things so personally, Scorpio. A lot of the times when people judge us or criticize us has nothing to do with us. It is just a reflection of what they feel inside. So oftentimes people that point out your insecurities um, speaks more about them and the type of person that they are and what they need to work on, whereas it doesn't really have much to do with you. I hope that makes sense. So try the best you can not to take things too personal, Scorpio. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of September 2023. By the way, you guys, I want you guys to acknowledge that I'm being more proactive in showing my face. For some reason, a lot of you guys have messaged me. Um, I'm an extremely private person, very private. And it got to a point um, where I was feeling uncomfortable because, you know, uh, people were knowing me or recognizing me. And that still makes me ugh, a bit iffy. Uh, only because if I'm by myself, I don't care. And I love to see you guys. And I love to um, show you guys the appreciation I have for you. But when I'm surrounded by loved ones or my nephews, <laughs> they're young and they love that attention, but I don't. Um, I'm a bit if of a mama lion when it comes to that. Um, you know, I try to protect them as much as I can. And I feel like sometimes it's just, um, I'm working through it is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarians. Sagis, my Sagis. Okay, we got cards flying out already. All right, so your general energy here is the king of pentacles. I see you guys focused. I see you guys focused and determined. There is something that's happening right now, Sagittarius, where you're becoming much more clear, and I should say crystallized clear, about the goals and the things that you want. And there is also an energy of feeling worthy of that. So again, for some of you guys, it could be that you're working on self-love. For others of you, you're working on manifesting something and it's definitely coming through. Why do I say that? Because we have the nine of cups here. This is the card that flew out. So the nine of cups indicates to me some type of wish fulfillment that's coming through for you guys. It's almost like if you've been going through it and you feel like it's one thing after the other, there's a bit of sigh of relief here that's happening. Why? Because you're going through a transition where you're going to have to internalize, go a little bit within and figure out what it is that you want in life. But the reason why this is needed you have to have a cluster, uh, sorry, you have to have a clear crystallized vision of what you want. Only then are you able to bring or draw in that which you're hoping for. Nine of Cups is it's already in your energy, uh, Sagittarius. Okay. Your next card is your card. Temperance. I see you guys empowered again with the nine of cups. I feel like you guys have been working through something, whether it's healing or whether it's manifesting something whether it's feeling valued and feeling your worth and knowing your worth. So you guys are definitely being much more empowered. And what happens when we, be, when we become empowered, what happens is that uh, our awareness expands. And when our awareness expands, we become much more powerful manifestors. 
And that's exactly what's coming to you guys. You may feel um, like there is almost things are, start, are starting to line up for you guys in a very positive way. Now, your next card here is the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is taking quick action. Again, I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, there's been a need to be clear on things, maybe figuring out life right now or where you're at. But once you're able to get over that, that little bump in the road, once you're able to reset yourself, you're going to be very focused on what it is that you want and you will accomplish it. They're also telling me, Sagittarius, whatever it is that you start right now, you will definitely accomplish. So if it's something about uh, starting a new project or starting a new diet for some of you guys or starting some type of habit, um, you're definitely it's something that if you start now, you're definitely going to stick to it and see results from that. All right, my lovelies, moving on now. Let's see what's going on here with Capricorns. Let's see what's going on with Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of September. <laughs> we had to think about it there for a bit. All righty, Cappies, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect for this month? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Capricorn. Your initial energy general energy here is the ace of wands a lot of passion coming into your life i feel like for some of you guys you're really tapping into that creative outlook or creative energy um for some of you guys it's setting out on a new project that is a creative project that is going to be very beneficial for you uh ace of wands also indicates to me almost a revamping of your energy capricorn for some of you guys there is a regeneration that's happening so for some could be uh, that you are going through some type of change or perhaps going through a renovation. Maybe you're cutting your hair. Maybe you're dyeing it differently. For others of you, it could be that you're starting a different type of, you know, fashion, clothing, whatever. Um, I see you guys like really trying to up your game or up your style. Um, and that's definitely very, very good for you. I, you know, this is something that I always tell my clients we have every right to reinvent ourselves as many times as possible. So this is a very beautiful energy, especially because of the creative energy. So whatever it is that you're trying to do right now, Capricorn, if you're being inspired to paint, if you're being inspired to write, if you're being inspired to whatever it is that you're being inspired to do, go with it, go with the flow, because this is going to be very beneficial for you in the long run. Next card here is the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, very, very emotional energy. I feel like this has more to do with you feeling more comfortable or being able to really embrace your feminine energy, whether you're masculine or female, it doesn't matter. Um, again, queen of cups is a very creative energy. So again, tapping into that energy, being able to birth through love, some type of creative outlook is going to be very healing as well. Your next card here is the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords indicates to me some type of communication that comes in. Seven of Cups with options. So there is something you've been wanting to hear or someone you've been wanting to hear from. I feel like you will definitely be hearing from them this month. However, you may be sidetracked or you may be a bit distracted because I see you guys having more options. Capricorn, this could be in love and in romance. But not necessarily for some of you guys, this could be in regards to finances. If there is some type of project or some type of person that you were trying to hear back from or trying to work with or something, I feel like they come back and they do reach out to you. However, I feel like you have more options on the table. All right, my lovelies. Moving on, let's see what's going on here with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of September. All right, we have cards flying out. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Aquarius. We're starting off here with the Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords could indicate feeling a bit very much in your head for some of you guys. Um, Aquarians, I feel like I feel like for some of you guys, you're going through some type of mourning process. Um, so this could be hearing that a loved one or someone that you knew passed away. Um, 
but I feel like it's not new. So what I mean is if you haven't gone through that, this is probably not resonating with you, but the ones that have, you've already experienced it. And it, this is the process you're currently going through. Um, your next card here is the page of swords. Page of swords is an indication of communication from someone that walked away or from someone that you ended some type of connection with, with the eight of cups here. Um, Three of Pentacles. Yeah. So I feel for some of you guys, it could be the mourning or the loss of some type of relationship doesn't have to be like a passing. Um, it could be that you were going through a transition where there was some type of ending or some type of uh, ending cycle. However, I feel like there is communication that comes in for you guys this month. And this person is going to come back or reach out to you wanting to reconnect and wanting to fix things with the three of pentacles major indication that there is probability or possibility of being able to either rekindle or reconnect or try to work or get to some type of agreement. Now, those of you guys that have ended some type of relationship where there's children involved or where there is best of interest to have amicable, you know, to end in amicable terms. I feel like you're being given that opportunity. Uh, if there are certain things that are still pending, I feel like you guys are able to come together, uh, put egos aside and actually do what's meant to do, to be done um, on good terms. Okay. All right. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Let's see what's going on with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For this month of September 2023, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of September 2023. All right, here we go, Pisces. All right, your general energy here is the strength card. So the strength card does talk to me about having to, having to do or having to face uh, the current situation, the things that we're currently going through, you have the strength obviously to get through it, but I feel like this has more to do with having an ego check Pisces. Um, what do I mean by that? I feel like there are certain things that you're currently going through where ego or pride gets in the way. Um, as an example, when people try to give you advice or when friends try to give you advice, you've been taking things a little too personal. And you take it as if they are judging you or critiquing you. So you've kind of pushed them away or you have pushed people away because you don't want them to criticize you. But it's not that they're criticizing you, it's that they're giving you constructive criticism. There's a difference. When, as an example, I'd rather be around people and friends that are going to be honest and that are going to be in my face when I'm screwing up or when I'm messing up. I want them to tell me, hey, Pinky, you're fucking up right now. Like, get it together versus someone that is a yes man, because it, it that has more to do with just going with the ego and letting you inflate my ego um, and not really taking self-responsibility for my actions. So again, try the best you can not to take things personal. And when people are trying to give you advice, if the advice is to the best of your interest, then they're doing you a favor because they know that you're probably going to be upset or sensitive about what they're telling you. But if they feel like they need to tell you, it's because they're looking out for you, Pisces. Try the best you can to stop hanging around fake people. Stop being around fake people or people that only want to inflate your ego or people that are only going to say yes to you and not, like I said, and not check you because those are not friends. The ones that are just going with the flow are not going to hold you accountable to anything um, versus the ones that genu genuinely do care for you are going to look out for you. Even if it comes off as them being a bit judgy, they're not. What they're doing is they're looking out for you, Pisces. Your next card here is the nine of pentacles. So the nine of pentacles does indicate being in the energy of wanting, being in the energy of wanting to be single or on a path of self-discovery for some of you. I feel like it has more to do with self-discovery uh, because of the strength card. It's like your ego is 
faltering or falling away to be able to fully embrace who you really are, Pisces, not what others want you to be. Now, who you think others want you to be, but who you really are. And I feel like the more you tap into that energy, the more empowered you're going to be, Pisces. Your next card here is the Ace of Swords. So again, I feel like honesty, self-honesty is very important. I feel like for a lot of you guys this month, it's going to be a lot of awakenings uh, for some of you guys on a earthly bound type of energy, meaning realizing certain things about ourselves that are uh, becoming, <coughs> excuse me, toxic behavior and realizing that. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is awakenings of being more aware, being more aware of how you are to other people, how you appreciate people for some of you guys, how you underestimate or underappreciate certain people in your life. And it's finding your finding that and realigning yourself, realigning yourself to the ones that gravitate towards you and the ones that are toxic, the ones that are not for you. You're realizing that and you're pulling away from that Pisces. And that is good because with the Ace of Swords, it indicates an enlightenment that happens that it gets you out of the confusion that you've been with the Seven of Cups. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, there is a awakening that's happening, Pisces. Sometimes when we go through that, we feel like everyone's against us. And then you start to realize, um, or the universe starts to reveal to you the people that are there for authentic reasons and the ones that are not. And those are the ones that you need to fall away from, uh, so that you can be in realignment so that you can be more your authentic self. And so that you can take care of your energy more than anything, Pisces. All right, my lovelies now moving on to Let's see what's going on with Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, definitely like, share, and comment. Don't forget to like. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of September 2023. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Aries. All right, Aries, we're starting off here with your general energy. This is the sun, beautiful energy. There is an unexpected blessing coming your way. For some of you guys, there is news in regards to some type of childbirth or some type of pregnancy that is happening. Doesn't necessarily mean you. It could be relatives or family or friends that are close that mean a lot to you. There is uh, some type of revelation in regards to uh, children. Now, your next card here is the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is about tradition. It's about... Um, Pulling away from tradition, two of swords here. So for some of you guys, you've been going through some type of situation for some where you've constantly done the opposite of what is considered traditional. I feel like right now you're questioning that or there's certain uh, situations that are happening in your life right now that have you rethinking, um, you know, was I really doing the opposite of what's considered traditional because it's more close to who I am or was I doing it just out of rebellious and if it was just to rebel against society, family, whatever, um, is it beneficial? Has it been beneficial for me? Or is it me the one that needs change? Because I see you guys kind of going through or questioning traditions, but I feel like you're drifting back to tradition. So for some of you guys, it could be that you tried to do certain things that uh, weren't necessarily traditional and you're understanding now that that has affected you or that it hasn't benefited you. And I see you guys going back or gravitating more towards traditional way of doing things. Uh, this could be in business. This could be, I feel primarily it has to do with relationships. So as an example, if you had decided a long time ago that you didn't want marriage, um, and you were okay with moving in with your partner or whatever, and you've been doing that with one relationship and the other, then, hey, clearly that's not working out for you. I see you guys kind of faltering or going back to um, what tradition would be. 
Uh, and I feel like there is a, a shift in energy that's happening that is bringing to you more stability going back to what is traditional. Okay. I hope that, I hope that seems clear. Uh, your next card here is the magician. So again, I feel like there is something that is manifesting for you guys that uh, you kind of tried to run away from or try to do it in a very different way. But I feel like you guys are going back to what is considered traditional or what you try to run away from. And you're able to understand that that's what makes you happy. And you're able to manifest fully the happiness you've been going towards or the happiness that you've been trying to manifest for quite a while for some of you guys, the relationship you've been trying to manifest, okay? So again, I guess the message here for this month is try the best you can to ask yourself, am I doing things differently because it feels right to me or is it because I did it as a form of rebelling? Has it benefited you? If it hasn't, don't be scared to going back to what would be considered traditional because that will benefit you ultimately. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of September 2023. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you guys feeling, Taurus? I feel ecstatic. It is Witchy Friday. <laughs> I get uh, very energized. Oh. All right, let's see, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Taurus. We're starting off here with your energy of the Ten of Swords. You guys have really been going through it, Taurus. I feel like this is an ending energy, the Ten of Swords. So for some of you guys, it is finally getting to the point of no longer dealing with those heavy ass energies that for some of you guys, you've been experiencing lately. This could be past traumas. This could be um, a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibility. I feel like it's finally um, it's finally moving. You're finally moving from that pace, from that energy to being able to have a sigh of relief. So for some of you guys, it could be that you've been a little bit over overly emotional, um, but you're you're over that you're over that cliff. You're getting out of that energy. Your next card here is the Queen of Swords. So I see you guys very much in your head, Taurus. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, you're in your head about being more proactive, the people that you choose to be around or the people that you choose to share your life with. Seven of Wands is having the need to sometimes check ourselves and be like, okay, I need to bring my guard up or I need to protect um, myself or protect, you know, the energy, the people that you're dealing with, that you're surrounding yourself with. It's like you're more self-aware of the people that you don't want to deal with anymore. And that's a beautiful thing, being able to acknowledge that and being able to actually create those boundaries and protect yourself is very crucial um, and amazing energy here. Now, with the Eight of Swords, I feel like, okay, this is a message that's coming through for you, Taurus, okay? And I'm going to make it very, very to the point. These cards are indicating to me that you've been currently going through a lot of difficulty. A lot of it has to do with on an emotional base and on a mental base. So for some of you guys, this is reminiscing or revisiting or thinking about the past and how's it, how it has affected you. I feel like this is something that's been very, very heavy type of energy. Um, it could be what's happening right now in the celestial, meaning in the planet arena that depending on where you have the planets, it's currently affecting you very heavily. But I feel like uh, coming out of this Taurus, you're going to be much more decisive in the decisions that you make about your life and in the decisions that you make about the people that you choose to surround yourself with, whether it's in partnerships, whether it's with re romantic partners, whether it's with friends, whether it's with colleagues, whatever the situation that you're currently going through, I feel like you're coming out of this being more clear on the people that you just don't want in your life anymore and the people that you're willing to embrace and that you're willing to let in. So though it may feel uh, like it's been a bit of an emotional journey for you guys, I feel like there is an empowerment, empowerment energy that's happening here where you're going to be 
unapologetical about the connections that you decide to end and the connections that you're willing to embrace. I see you guys being more assertive as well. So good energy there. Although it's been a bit of a heavy energy for some of you guys. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of September, 2023. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Geminis. All right, Gemini. We're starting off here with the energy of the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups, as the general energy, I feel like, I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, you're feeling like you're having options. Be careful with the options that you're willing to entertain, Gemini. Sometimes we can have a variety of options and none of them are good for us. You know what I mean? Like, don't get excited about options if they're not for the betterment of you. Um, especially those of you guys that recently became single, like pick, what's the word quality over quantity, Gemini. And this is in every aspect. Okay. But that's something that's coming through very strongly. Why? Because we have temperance here. There's a lot of healing that's happening or that needs to happen for you, Gemini. You're holding on to something. You're holding on to something or someone from the past when really you should be embracing and processing the healing, detaching yourself from the situation or from that person so that you can embrace the page of wands, so that you can embrace new endeavors, new connections. New journey that you need to take. If you're dealing with someone, Ten of Pentacles, if you're dealing with someone, Gemini, that is from the past and you're confused about your feelings for them or they're confused about how they feel about you or you don't know where you stand with them, stop wasting your time. It's time for you to fully embrace the temperance, which is fully embrace the healing process or the detachment of things, learning to be patient. Sometimes we go back to the past because we don't want to be by ourselves. Sometimes we can't seem to get over the past because we cling on to the feeling of what we experienced then because we're single now and we don't want to face the reality of that. Whatever situation that is for you, what they're telling you here is that it's time for you to fully embrace that that came to an end so that you can give yourself the opportunity of not only healing, but being able to walk towards the stability that you're looking for, whether it's financial stability, whether it's, you know, getting um, the relationship or partnership that you've always wanted, or whether it's getting that big break, stop letting people hold you back. Stop letting responsibility or thinking that you have responsibility over people that did not give a shit about you. Sometimes Gemini, your loyalty can be a slave to you, or you can become a slave to your loyalty of the loyalty of people that you have or that you care for. Um, especially if you're dealing, like I said, with someone from your past and it's like the best that's the person I loved. A lot of the times when we're not with them, what happens is when there's a separation or an ending, we don't really sit there and think about all the shit they put us through. Most of the time you romanticize only the good things, right? And then you're quick to jump into that relationship again or give it another go without fully healing here, without fully healing, you jump into that relationship again, right? And then you come to realize that that's not where you want to be. Because you've outgrown the situation or the connection. All right, Gemini. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of September, 2023. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, Cancer. We have the Ace of Wands here. There is a... There's an energy of being excited about something. For some of you guys, this is a new chapter, a new beginning that you're currently experiencing or that you're currently going through. There's a lot of excitement surrounding this. For some of you guys, this is a relationship that's coming through. For others of you, you may already be dealing with this person. You have the Empress card here. Seven in energy or being able to be wooed or giving yourself the opportunity to be wooed, whether you're masculine or female, doesn't matter. And we have the eight of cups. Okay. So if you're recently dealing with someone that really excites you, uh, I was going to say Capricorn. For some of you guys, you're dealing with a Capricorn. Um, yeah. If you're recently dealing with someone cancer and you're really excited about this connection, I want you to let go of the fear of abandonment. OK, because what they're showing me here is that a lot of the times you self-sabotage or you uh, energetically um, push people away because of your abandonment issues or the feeling that people are going to walk away from you. There is shadow work that needs to be done here, Cancer. Uh, there are things that you need to work on yourself because though sometimes there may be a bit of frustration feeling, especially when we're talking about relationships, like things don't ever go the way you hope them to go. It's because you're already in that vibration that it's not going to work out. So you kind of repel them instead of bringing them towards you. Um, as an example, you can be dealing with someone new and everything's exciting and they're so into you. And then all of a sudden they start to fall away or they ghost you for some. The reason for this is because you're repelling them with your energy. So it's your way of thinking, or there is a habit or a cycle of your way of seeing things when it comes to relationships. So try the best you can to work through that. By the way, uh, <laughs> excuse my niece, you guys. I'm doing a recording, baby. You guys go over there. All right. If she's sticking around, she loves camera, you guys. So <laughs> all right, moving on here. We're going to go finally with Leo's. Let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with Leo's for the month of September, 2023? Say hi. Hi. Say hi to everyone. Hi. All right, Leo. Oh, all right. We got cards flying out. Dad. All right, Leo. We have here, shh, baby. We have the page of wands. Page of wands is an indication of going on a new journey or giving your op giving yourself the opportunity of actually taking on new energy. For some of you guys, I see you guys being much more spontaneous. Uh, this is something that I would highly encourage you guys to do um, only because it is going to be very, it's an exciting time for you guys, whether it's at work or whether it's uh, when it comes to dating for some of you guys, I see a lot of excitement. I see you guys taking on a new journey. Now, your next card here is the star card. So again, I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's star alignment that's happening. Uh, for some of you guys, your love life is going to be greatly impacted here. Um, there is almost this feeling of, there's almost this feeling, this energy of, coming through for some of you guys um sorry you guys she's distracting me um something that you've been hoping for or something that you've been wishing for for quite a while is finally coming through for some of you guys uh your next card yeah see that's exactly the energy i was sensing and i just pulled out the nine of cups you guys so there is definitely some type of wish fulfillment that's coming through for you Leos out there, whether it's relationships. I feel strongly relationships. Um, I feel strongly relationships, but for a lot of you guys, this could be uh, the raise you've been wanting or the position you've been wanting, you've been working hard towards. That's definitely coming through for you guys this month. Uh, and finally, we have the sun card. Oh my goodness. You guys cannot have much more better cards. 
there is a lot of abundance that's coming through for you guys. There's something you've been hoping or wishing for or wanting to make happen. And that's definitely coming through for you guys for this month. I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to start to experience this either the third week of September all the way to the beginning of October. There is definitely, like I said, uh, there is definitely a wish fulfillment that's coming through. But for some of you guys, um, this is a wish fulfillment. If you guys have been working on manifestations, there is a manifestation that's coming through that you'll be able to experience in the actual habit, you know, in the actual manifestation process, it materializes for you guys. So beautiful, beautiful energy, Leo. By the way, I apologize for the distractions, you guys. <laughs> All right, I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did like, share, comment, and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.